welcome to the viewers we discuss today the idea of an important problem and that questions frequently came in mind that the intersections of infinite number of open sets what happen if we see the intersections of infinite number of open sets in a metric space is it open or not open the question is intersection of infinite number of open set in a metric space is open or not actually we have to examine and to see this type of problems if we consider paper this particular solution we have to consider an open interval and let us take an open interval say i n if we consider is equal to if we see minus 1 by n to 1 by n in this way say where n is natural number in real number space R we considering this and with usual metric general cases we find then If we consider this, each open ball, that is each IN, as for example, N is equal to 1, we have I1, and that will be minus 1 1 for n is equal to 2 we have i2 that is minus 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 for n is equal to 3 we have i3 and we find minus 1 by 3, 1 by 3. In this way, we find for n, that is n is equal to, if we consider n is equal to m, then we find in this way minus. So, finally, infinitely, if we say, and if we draw the picture figure what happens there for i1 that is if we mentioning the point as 0 then real number line 
if we consider it as 1 and here as same distance as minus 1 what happens there we find this type of interval and for the next stages we are getting this region that is here it is half here it is minus half we find this region and then we find another region minus 1 by 3 at exactly length of half one third cases here and here that is 1 by 3 and here it is minus of 1 by 3 in this way we find and finally we get infinite extent and then this all interval that converted to zero and it is clear this interval all shrinks and finally it will be in zero an mth interval whatever may be the number is we find finally zero therefore for each i n for each i n uh, here we write this as for example we have to demonstrate for each i n is an open ball we have to find it here because with the help of this persistence we can draw all this type of concept it's a abstract concept and it is a real line actually in the cases of real number space r uh, be the real line we considering this and hence it has an interior point so hence an open set and where in R and now we have to find here for n is equal to 1 to up to infinite extent this interval i n just to cross it now for n is equal to 1 to up to infinity it's in finite extent i n we have and there are the several occasion n is equal to 1 to up to infinity minus of 1 by n and 1 by n that will be converted to there is an intersections of if we start it here that a minus 1 to 1 in this way that is minus 1 to 1 intersection minus 1 by 2 to 1 by 2 intersection minus 1 by 3 to 1 by 3 intersection up to infinite extent and already we have so this real number line that will certainly convert it to in zero it is clear that element will be a singleton set zero as we if we rewrite this once more if all this point is zero it is a real number line and if this point shows as one and minus one then this shows minus one by two to one by two in these areas and then minus one by three to one by three so up to this finally all elements are converted to zero that's why these things happen we did it once more and all this type of interval and all are open ball concept so this will reduce us to singleton element zero and which is not an open set in r that's why so it is not an open set that's why the intersection of infinite number of open set in a metric space may not be an open set so in this way we end our discussion today 
if you like this video like it share it don't forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching